the bone. Got a Christian that's vaccinated, that's sedated. But we out here giving the antidote. Got a cure for your dead or disease. And STDs have a dose. We was built for the battle, just pass me the scapula. We can go under the microscope. I approach is full of finesse. By the science, he under the rest. Heart is beating, just look at his chest. Cardiac, he under arrest. My people, they needing that medicine. They sleeping, they needing the sedatives. Seize a bow to ease the pain. I need some more hope. Just a cold will do it like this. All bands on the wrist. Cut the sin like a sis. And my God in the mist. Put the scripts in the mix. Twofold like a Twix and switch the lips. But it's bitter to the belly. All in and it's heavy. Clean cuts, no machete. Cure, come and get ready. Hold on. Oh, wow, Jerusalem. Trying to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, praise yeah. to the most high. We back once again. That's right. Nine. That's right. Culture. All praise to the most high God, man. We back in the building. Like Deacon Lava could say, we in this building. That's right. Yes, sir. So all praises. Listen, uh, listen, we got a five show for you today. All praise. We got a star right. studded panel up here for you. Um, all praise to my all praise to the most high. I'm also over down to my right, I got. Hey, man, I'm just glad to be amongst, amongst, amongst these brethren. What's your name, bro? Especially you, bro. Especially you. What's my name is Officer Lavin. That's right. I'll, I'll pray, pray to the most high. Hey, to my left, I got Officer Baruch. Officer Baruch. <laughs> I'll pray to my far right. Officer Zacchaeus. To my far left. Officer Zarai. To my far, far right. Officer Hosanna. To my far, far left. Officer Yehukana. Hey, Why once I again, stole. like I said, <laughs> we got a star-studded panel up here today. First of all, you know, we're getting shout-outs, man. I'll pray to the Most High God for giving us this opportunity, man, to come back and keep his laws, statutes, and commandments in the faith of Christ. Man, this That's is a beautiful right. thing, bro. I'm going to tell you all something, too, man, and I always say this. It's a great day. To be an Israelite, man. All the time, every day. Right. Man, we see right. we seeing prophecies unfold. We seeing, you know, the world coming to the end. We see our, our kingdom, our rulership. We can see it. It's right there. It's right there. So you brothers and sisters gotta hold on, man. You gotta hold on. So all pray to the most. Hey man, shout out, man. That was a five song. Um, our intro, man. How you, how you what you think about the intro? <laughs> All praise to the most high God. I think um we got a longer version. I think you on that thing, ain't it, Officer Levin? Oh, bro, we got a few rappers on that thing. <laughs> okay. I was a Hosanna. I was a Hosanna on that thing, yeah. Right? Hosanna rap. I was a Hosanna, you on that? They gotta be remastered. They gotta be Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. I said. Bro, you you the master that thing, bro. Out the Delta, Just bro. Don't put it out, out the yet. damn but the Delta. Hey, y'all know how the how the how the how the movie line go. Everybody got the right. To contribute a verse. <laughs> don't do it, bro. Don't do it. You see us before? Yeah. You know. That's right. Yeah, everybody That's right. got a dream, man. That's right. <laughs> All praise. Man, listen. We had a great, great uh, class yesterday. Uh, Bishop. Shout out to Bishop Nathaniel. Uh, Bishop Yawasai. Yes, Bishop Kanai. All the deacons. Captain, the mighty captains, bro. Uh, they bringing that fire, man. You officers out there. Um, you soldiers. All praise to the Most High, man. Um, five classes coming out on a daily basis, uh, seven days That's a week, right. three or four times a day. But lately, Bishop been dropping some gems, some bombs, bro. Um, I seen that sewer rat come up out of there, man. Y'all seen that sewer rat? Yes, yes sir. sir. One of them I mean, chimmer uh, chim chim rims. Chim rims. That's just a chimmer rim. That's a chimmer rim. He come out of with his suit on. <laughs> with the suit on. Oh man, with oh, his hat on and everything. Everything, yes sir. Bro, you can't. I, I, I thought that might have been Master Splinter coming up out of there. That was him. That was him. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, rat. Oh, praise it to the hey, most hey, I they, they, they like to be called Rabbi. Rabbi. Because they're Rabbi Splinter. Rabbi Splinter. Rabbi. That's right. That's Rabbi. Right. Rabbi. Hey, man. Rabbi. Hey, put Rabbi. Put on the video, man. Put Rabbi. on the video, bro. I know we got one uh, with the um, with the sewer rat coming up out of there, man. Listen, bro. The most I said, he said, man, you know, we really, we really made the most high angry with us, man. Yes. Right. I mean, he was angry with us because he said he put these base people over us. These people are base people from the Caucasus Mountains of teenage, Georgia, Russia. Teenage Jewish Ninja Turtles. Right. Damn. He put these people over us. So, you know, we, we jacked up. So, all praise to the most high that he gave us this opportunity to come back and keep his law, statutes, and commandments. Officer Brooke, I thought you said you had a video for me. Officer Brooke 10, you said you had a video for me, bro. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. We wait on that thing, man. Pull that thing up, bro. Let's see. Oh man. So 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 hold up, hold up. I want I, before we go back, go back to the beginning. I want to show y'all something, and this is this is crazy. Now, watch when this man come out. Watch what the police did to him. They pull him out of the hole. His hat was about to fall off. Put his hat back on. They straighten his hat back up. Hot damn. I ain't much catch that. Now, wow. what would officers of kids, I got to ask you. I got to ask you, brother. My brother from another mother. You might have been from Leo. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, if that had been us, if that would have been us, how you think we have been would have done the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that's here living in here in America today. How would they have treated us? I believe that all that did not get shot would have had a knee on his neck. Right, he'd have been shot. He'd have been he'd have been he'd have been tased, shot. I had a knee on his neck. Damn. Absolutely. That that's all. That's that's, that's all the choices we got. That's all. It wouldn't have been straightening up your hat because yeah, that hat would have been on the ground. They'd have stumped on the hat, and he probably would have been already tased. Shot. I had a knee on his neck before they right. pulled him up out of there. We, we, we wouldn't have came out the tunnel alive. No. Ain't no way. Hey, we wouldn't yeah, have came out the tunnel nah. alive. And, and let me tell you something. It's so crazy. I work in construction, right? Now, if I got a house, and if I want to work on my house, guess what I got to get? Permit. I got to have a permit to work on my house. I can't just go work on my house. The laws and, and the governs of how building codes... You can't just go work on your house. You got to get a permit. You got to go to the city and get a permit. Right. Now, they in New York City. I'm in Mississippi. They in New York City, and they took upon themselves to build tunnels between three and four buildings. Boy, ain't no With way no way. building, no no permits. Right. Bro, that's a that's a jailable offense. Hmm. But we see we see they, how they, they get they, by. They own the building. That's what it is. Well, I own my house. They own the building. I own my house, so I can't work on my house. No, nope. really. see, you not know not what? Really. That, no, you don't. <laughs> see, see, <laughs> that's the thing. That's, that's, what, that's what we make our mistake. We think we own something. So right. they, they, they own it, and we really have no ownership. We, own, right. we don't own nothing. Man, give me that. Uh, uh, not Job nine twenty four, man. Job nine twenty four. I know y'all got some scriptures going. We are gonna watch the rest of this video, man. But listen, we gonna we gonna just talk, talk about this a little while and all throughout the show before we get into our emergency room. But this gotta be addressed, and this this man of sin is starting to be revealed. We are gonna get that. Read that. Right. The Book of Job, chapter nine, verse twenty-four. Uh -huh. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Uh huh. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. So just like you said, Officer Brooke, I actually don't own my land because I gotta pay taxes on. It. If I don't pay taxes on that, they, they can come and take. take it. And even if they want to build a highway through there, they got this this thing called eminent domain where they can Sir. actually come say, oh, we need this. Uh, you gone. You got to get out of here. All right, now, I own the, the deeds to my land. But on my deed, it says mineral rights. Somebody else owned the mineral rights to my land. I don't what? own that. Yep. Right. Huh? That's her in good old U.S. of A, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. Wow! I own the land, pay taxes on the land, but some other entity owns the mineral rights. So right. if they find oil, gold, whatever, that sure. all belongs to them. That's right. On my land that I pay taxes on. You got to be the yep. devil, bro. So read the scripture again, man. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the Bible said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. We know who the wicked is. The wicked is Esau, Idumia, Amalek, all of them. That's the wicked. They're the same people. Keep reading. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. So the faces of us, the judges, the judges of Israel, the judges of the world, because the Bible say that we're going to judge the world. We're going to judge you, Esau. That's right. Yeah, we're going to do it. Keep reading. He covered our faces up. People don't know who we are. We don't even know who we are. Keep reading. If not, where and who is he? Esau. 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 He, he is in control of this world. He's the devil the Bible speak of, and we see him use his antics and tactics today. Go ahead. You have something? Oh, I'm just saying, hey, can we go back to that video? I just want to point something out. Now, whenever the, the police... Whenever they respond to something involving us, how many of it is them? Is it how many of them 
is it? Look at how many police officers there compared to how many of them are there. Got two right there, and go back over. You got two more. It's four. Now, they'll bring four police officers. For one of us, had that been the men in purple and gold, the prophets, it would have been police in riot gear surrounding the building in mass force. That's why you know, oh, you know what? Go over there and deal with your brothers. Deal with them like handy. If they messed up, put their hat back on them and all that type of stuff. If it was us, we'd have got drug out the tunnel. Immediately come down the plastic, we slammed on our face. Yeah. Yep. So they they just had a, a incident that everybody was talking about in uh in Miami. Well, uh, well, well, a group of teens they went into a mall and, and they, they got into a fight. A group of teens, mm -hmm. and it was more than 40, 50 police cars that came to that scene of, of those of those of those uh, uh kids uh fighting. Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. But like you said, because the Amalek oh sent they got three four policemen down there. And this has been like what, like days, and we ain't heard of nobody. Not even nobody going to jail. We ain't right, heard of no right. trial, no, no court no. date, no interrogation, no nothing. Oh no! Nothing. Didn't they find like bloody mattresses and stuff? Yeah. And ain't nobody. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Right. It's all over the internet. I'm hey. glad it's all over the internet. Hey, play the video, man. Finish playing the video. Let's look at that some more, man. Let's get another look at it. Play that thing, bro. And look how violent they get. Look at them. So why why is this happening? The hell is this? Boy, you are the goddamn devil. Now look at that, look at that man. That's crazy. So 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 look like they was basically attacking the police. Yes. Obstruction. That's right. Is, is that inside the ride? Yes, that was yes, a ride. That's a ride. That's a ride. Yes, yes, sir. That's so, a certified ride. Violence we, against toward police. If we do anything of that nature, what happens to us? The whole block spray. Yeah, Everybody dead. We dead. Body bag. It ain't no, ain't no, ain't no hope for us. No. Give me that scripture, bro. Frame of the um, law. Frame of mischief by law. Yes. All praise, because we see this, and we seen this again. We seen this again. Uh, was it January the 6th? Yes. When them folks went to, to Washington, climbed the wall. They had stairs over there. They decided, you know what? I don't, I'm not going to use them stairs. I'm going to climb the wall like Spider-Man. Yes. Yeah. I'm a superhero. I'm going to climb the walls, go in there, and get a man, a woman. I think a woman got shot there. Shot, yeah, she got killed. Yeah. yeah. So he incited, these people incited a riot, went in there. Because, and, and like, the law is, okay, if... You break into somebody's house. You and a friend break into somebody's house, and that homeowner shoots you. Well, you get a murder charge because you and that friend broke in that house. That homeowner don't get that charge because you broke into his house. The person that's living out of the two people that broke in gets that charge. So you and your partner go in and do something wrong. He gets killed. Now you got to pay for him getting killed. Why they didn't apply that? With the um, insurrection of uh, on January the sixth, these people read the scripture, bro. <laughs> the Book of Psalms, chapter ninety-four, verse twenty. Uh -huh. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? So the scripture said, "Have the throne of iniquity." We well, you know who the throne of iniquity is. That's Esau, Idumia, Edom. Keep reading. Which frame of mischief by a law? What they do? Frame of mischief by a law. So. And there was, there was this guy that he said, he had a saying, he said, an unjust law is no law at all. I can't think of his name, but that's one of the famous quotes. But he framed mischief. This man here frames mischief by a law, meaning they, they can they can do whatever it is they want to do under their system right. and then uh, or institute laws that's contrary to our culture, our true culture, keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments and placing them upon us. That's, that's this right. Man. Can we get her back at one and four? Yes, sir. Let's do that real quick. No, I'll praise Because this is, a, like, so, like we just brought out, uh, I was talking about that. It's a key example of no justice, no nothing. And, right. it's, and it bothers me is that black folks think they can beat these people at their own game. Yeah, right. No. Can you get her back at one and four for me? The book of Habakkuk, chapter one, verse four. Watch yeah. this. Therefore, the law is slack. Let's say, therefore, yes. the law 
is slack. The laws of God are slack in America and throughout the, the, the face of the world. Why? Because the wicked runs the earth, just like we just read in Job, right? So read it again. Therefore, the law is slack, uh -huh. and judgment doth never go forth. Judgment, right judgment never go forth. We just seen what well, could have been a lot of judgment executed. None went forth, read. For the wicked that can pass about the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgment proceeded. That's what it is. It's because the wicked compasses about the righteous. The wicked is over this land, is over America, is over the world. Satan himself, Satan's children. It said the wicked doth compass about the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgment proceeded. You know, so that's what we see. Michael Jackson said the best. They don't give a damn about you. They, they do not <laughs> love us. He said... They do not love us. He That's said, the whole point. He said they don't really care about us. He meant, no, the, All I want to say is they, they don't, don't really a, care. <laughs> that what he want to say. They don't give a f about us. That was, that was the original lyrics. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the original lyrics. They said, bro, tone that down. Yeah, they man. said, you, you right, but tone it yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, bit. yeah. That's the whole point of, behind this. Wake up. Open your eyes. See what's going on. We are oppressed. They got the upper hand because we in captivity for breaking God's laws. That's the whole point of bringing all this out. See the oppression, get mad, and do something about it. Change. Go ahead, officer. So I, I remember this other guy had this song. I can't think of his name. He's something like, it went something like, they don't love us. No, right, they right. don't love us. You it, remember that song? It's something like, the PlayStation. Okay. <laughs> they don't love us. All right, all right, all right. How many times we got to say it? Right, right, right. 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 How all many right. more knees on the neck? How right. many more people got to get shot down on the street? Right. I mean, if you can't see it, you just, your eyes are blinded. You're spiritually blind. So sure. maybe you don't want the cure. They don't want the cure. All praise. Y'all on point. Y'all on point. Y'all on point, IT. All praise to the most high. Hey, listen. We're going to tap back in. We're going we gonna to come back on you, Amalek. We ain't left you. We're going to be. Matter of fact, give me that in Exodus chapter 17. Let me tell you what the most I say about you. Exodus chapter 17. So, all praise. Let's read that, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Exodus 17, 16? Yes, sir. Read that real fast before we get into our emergency room. Book of Exodus, chapter 17, verse 16. Bring it out. For he said, because the Lord have, have sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. What, what the most I say? Hold up. I want to, to, matter of fact, I got something for you Christians. I got it. I, we done went over this several times. Let's go again. Go to uh, verse 15. Verse 15. Uh-huh. And Moses built an altar and called the name of it. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah what? Jehovah Nisi. I know y'all got a song out there. Y'all got a song out there. Y'all want to talk about the, the names of Jehovah. And Jehovah Nisi is one of the songs, one of the names in the song. So what's going on here when Moses built, Moses built this altar called Jehovah Nisi? Guess what it mean? Read it. Guess for, what it mean? For he said... Because the Lord has sworn. The Lord done sworn. This is talking about Jehovah Nisi, you Christians. <laughs> Keep reading. That the Lord will have war with Amalek. So the, war, the Lord going to have war with who? Amalek. For how long? From generation to generation. So all praises to the Most High. We're going to have war with Amalek from generation to generation. The Most High done sworn it. So we'll be back. So now let's get into our emergency room, bro. Run that emergency room, bro. Run that emergency room, bro. <laughs> So all praise the most high we back, man. Listen. That was a quick sometimes I like to I like the shock and awe. Okay. You know, and I I maybe didn't say nothing to you men about what we're going to do in the emergency room. But it's a Negro up in here. Mm -hmm. It's a Negro. I really don't think he want nothing, but we got to try to do our best to help him out. So we got a video, and I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He hates the Israelites. He's a urban apologetics. I think he's in the military. He's a chaplain in the military. That's mm -hmm. kind of the, the imam of whatever uh, military group he in. Is that a word, imam? Islam. Okay, Islam. Well, Islam. He Islam. probably went the same day. <laughs> yeah, he's a chaplain. Um, when I was in the military, they had a chaplain. He he didn't fall under nothing. He was just a chaplain. He just <laughs> he, he might have had three or four different books. You know, he got a cabal in there and everything. <laughs> wow. So I will pray to the most. But listen, I want y'all. I want you brothers, man. Listen to this. This this brother needs some help, man. You know, um, we love this brother, but he hate our guts. Play the video, man. 
Newsflash, fam, the Bible is not written mm. to us. Oh, Let me say God. that again. The Bible is not written to us, it is written for us. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, let it play. We got it. Hey, yeah, sorry, let, no let it play, bro. You go listen, listen, so listen. Family. So check this out. So on my way back from spending time with my baby girl in New York, I noticed that there was an excessive amount of security at the airport. I also was surprised that in 2024, there were still so many people in line that had on a mask. I couldn't figure that one out. So the line was long, but since I was a clear member, I was able to breeze through the front of the line. But then even after getting to the front of the line, I still ended up getting pulled to the, over to the side and having this TSA worker put his hands all over me. Random, huh? I don't think so. But anyway, um, to my surprise, I was pleasantly surprised by while I was waiting on my flight, I saw my dog Charles and his family. Now, they must have been late or something because I didn't get a lot of time to spend time with him uh, because he was dragging behind everyone. So anyway, uh, I just hope that, uh, I was hoping that when I got on the plane and they closed the door, that it actually stayed closed. That's what I was grateful for. Uh, Lord knows I wasn't trying to get on the plane and get caught up in the clouds prior to Jesus coming back. But on the real, I just really was hoping that there wasn't any Karens on board that was going to scare everyone to death by pointing out all the fake people that was actually there on the flight. So, but look, uh, I'm going to land my plane with this one. Come on with uh, There's nothing on that plane that could have been even more entertaining uh, than the three-hour interview um, where it's hard to tell the truth from a lot. So, 3,000 books a year, fam? Nah. And for those of you who do not know, a basketball court is 31 yards long, not 40. So don't be deceived. Everything you see is not real. So obviously the details in that story. Hey, hold, hold, up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So what he did, he he trying to he he trying to prove a point, and okay. I don't want let's not get caught up in this. But yeah, yeah. I want this whole video to play so we can see what he's trying to prove. <clears throat> he just told us a story, mm-hmm. and he threw some key elements out there that we probably know about. He finna explain it. Keep playing. But many of you were still able to follow that story and understand everything that I was talking about. Hey, hey, hold up, 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 hold up. Now remember, he said before it started that the Bible wasn't written to us. It was written for for us. us. That's that's the premise of the whole thing. So keep keep playing. The original audience that and can understand everything that I was talking about. So I threw off little hints about stuff that you instantly were able to pick up on simply because you know everything that's going on in the world right now. So I don't have to fill in those details. So let's start from the very beginning and see if you caught everything that I threw out. So the first thing that I said was there was an excessive amount of security at the airport. Now I don't have to tell you that the reason security security is changed at the airport is because of what happened on September 11, 2001. I don't have to tell you those details. As soon as I mention security at the airport, excessive amount of security at the airport, everybody knows why security at the airport is different than it was many years ago. So I don't have to fill in those details for you. Let's check out the next one. The next thing that I talked about was people being surprised that there were still so many people that were wearing masks. Now, I don't have to tell you that the masks are talking about the pandemic and how back uh, a couple of years ago, everyone was wearing masks. And now it's surprising that if you see a lot of people in the airport wearing masks, I don't have to fill in those details for you. Hey, hold you up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Y'all, y'all kind of see where he's going with this, right? Right, right, right. You got to fill in the details uh, on certain things. Because he said, he said the Bible wasn't written... For us, it wasn't written, it, 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 it wasn't written to us, us. It, it was written, written for us. us. So, so he, basically what he's saying is there's little nuances in the Bible that we may not understand because it was written 2,000 years ago. Okay, and it okay. was written to that audience and not to the people. So, and, and, and I, I want to finish the video because I got okay. some, uh, finish the video. Here we go. Associate the mask with the pandemic with the coronavirus. Again, I don't have to fill in those details because you are the original audience. If somebody else is watching this video years from now, they're not automatically going to pick up on those details of the mask. And looking it up in English to see what the etymology of the word mask is is not going to help me um, to understand what the actual concept and the reason why I'm wearing people were wearing those masks and why it was so surprising to me. Does that make sense? Now, my dog Charles. Now, I actually do have a friend named Charles who lives in New York. 
but is it going to be as obvious to someone hundreds of years from now or a thousand years from now that I wasn't talking about a literal dog? And again, if I look up that word dog in the original language, it's not going to tell me if I'm talking about a four-footed beast or if I'm using that as common vernacular for someone who is a friend of mine. Again, this is where us going back and looking up stuff in the scriptures and the original Hebrew, Greek, or Aramaic may not always give us the context of how a word was being used. For instance, in the scriptures in Psalm 78 and 25, it says that man did eat angels' food. Now, you can look up angels, you can look up food, but it's not going to give you the context to understand that when the writer was talking about that, it was talking about the manna that fell from heaven. Again, angels are not eating food. So again, looking up those words in the original language isn't always going to help. We have to understand the context. But someone who Paul, or excuse me, that uh, David was writing to, David didn't have to pick that or uh, bring that out because they automatically knew. Now, uh, the door staying closed. There's just a recent article that talked about. All right, all right, that's enough of this dude. That's enough of this dude. I, I, don't I have finally enough. got it. So do y'all do y'all yeah, get what he's saying? Going with it. He's saying since pee. the Bible was written over two thousand years ago, that we don't understand the context. That's why he said it was written for us, not to us. We're not the original audience, so this ain't. Yeah, to that's, us. that's what he's trying okay. to say. Our so, people are stupid as hell. <laughs> so now we do know that the New Testament writers. Did they quote Old Testament? They sure did. Right, sure did. right, right. So was the Bible written to them or for them? Because if it's 2,000 years between the Old Testament and New, what was Paul talking about? Right. Matter of fact, give me Romans 9, 13, uh -oh. man. I'm, yeah. I'm just going to show you something. And, and I won't, I won't, this is an idiot, man. This is an idiot. D yes. When I, when right. I seen his face, all I was like, oh, this dude. Yeah, all a lot, <laughs> whole lot of talk. All that talk. He went through all that, made up a story about going through the airport and all that to try to say that uh, since we the original artists, we're going to understand about Karen, about um, the, the dough flying off in the plane, on the plane. Y'all heard about that, I'm pretty sure. Cat Williams did the, the, the 3,000 books in a year. You know, he ran a uh, uh, 40 yard dash in three seconds or whatever, but <laughs> said, anyway, a bunch of garbage, all to get to, to trick you. Just think, oh, you know what? Maybe we're not the risen of Maybe we can't understand the Bible. Right. Read what Paul said, man. The book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. Uh -huh. As it is written. As it's written. So this is what Paul is talking about. And evidently he understood, even though he might not have been the original artist, it was written to him. Keep reading. Jacob have I loved. So Paul said, Jacob have I loved. He said, as it is written, Jacob have I loved. Read. But Esau. Have I hated? Well, where did he get that from? Right. Where did he get that from? Go to Malachi. Go to Malachi because he said, as it is written, meaning he got this from somewhere. Let's see where he got it from. Malachi 1. The book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 1. Verse, yeah. verse 1. Read it out. The burden of the word of the Lord to, the, to Israel by Malachi. Read. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Uh huh. Yet ye say, Wherein has thou loved us? Uh huh. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Uh huh. Saith the Lord. Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau. So the same thing being said in Romans nine thirteen, Paul got it from Malachi chapter one. Mm -hmm. Now there That's was right. a huge gap between the two writers, mm -hmm. but he understood what Malachi was talking about, and he repeated it again. In the New Testament. Right. So, I got another one for you. Then I'm going to let y'all go. Give me a home. Exodus chapter 20, verse 17. Exodus chapter 20 and verse, uh, go to verse um, 14. Exodus 20 and 14. Read that, bro. Exodus chapter 20, verse 14. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, you mean to tell me that I can't understand that? Because it was written a long time ago. Wow! You don't understand I, the context. I don't understand the context. It's one verse. <laughs> what, 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 what is he talking about? He That's what I want to. I want to understand what is he talking. What you think, Officer Cass? I don't know. I know he don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> right, right. Oh, please, y'all go ahead, man. Hey, can I get Romans eleven one real quick? Go ahead. Just want to show like like what you like what you were talking about. Paul often quotes. Right. Things that are written in the Old Testament. And there was a significant gap between the writers. Right, right, right. So it's this uh, what are we going what we're going to see is that the Bible was always written to a specific audience, whether in the Old Testament, in the New Testament, and in twenty twenty-four. Right. Watch it. Romans eleven and one. Romans chapter eleven, verse one. Read it out. I say then, 
Have God cast away his people? God forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Because that's what he's trying to say. He's right. really trying to say that God has cast away the Israelites. Right. Saying, the Bible ain't written to the Israelites no more. It's right. written for everybody. Right. Paul says, I say what well, I say then, have God cast away his people? God forbid. Yeah, for no. I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. What I want everybody to understand is Paul ain't the first person to say that. Let me get Psalm chapter 94 and verse 14. Bring it up. Book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 14. Come on. For the Lord will not cast out his people. Wait a minute. What King David say? Because he pulled King David in the in the uh the video. Read it again. For the Lord will not cast off his people. It said, For the Lord will not cast off his people. Come on. Neither. Will he forsake his inheritance? Neither will he forsake his inheritance. Who is his inheritance? The Israelites. So if the Bible was written to the Israelites during the time of the Psalms, it was still written to the Israelites during the times of Paul in the Roman captivity. It's still written to the Israelites to this day. That's you got to right. stop playing. You got to stop playing with us, bro. Right. Hey, let me, get, let me get one, man. Because I keep hearing this word, understand. People saying understood. Let's get Psalms 111. 10. This is why this brother is, does not have any understanding. This is why he has his problem. Delusional. Read that. Psalms chapter 111 verse 10. Come on. Read the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. A good understanding, meaning you're going to understand these scriptures. You're going to understand this word if you are keeping the commandments. That brother got a, right. got a face smoother than a baby's booty. Uh -huh. <laughs> he, looked like, he, he, he looked like he actually enjoyed the pat down from the guy at the TSA. <laughs> Dang. That brother don't have no understanding of the scriptures and he, it, because he ain't keeping the commandments. But the men you see on this panel, the men you see teaching on the Sabbath, those men are keeping the commandments. That's why they understand this. That's all I got. I don't want to lose the thought because he did say a whole bunch of deep nothing. Right, so the right. point was, the Bible wasn't written what? to us, to, but for us. But Whoa. for us. So it, it wasn't written to you personally, but for you to kind of have an overall scope of something. Maybe you can fill it in, maybe you can't. I like what y'all went okay. to. What you got? Now I just want to say, because he, it was confusing. So what, It was a little so confusing, when I get deep from, dummy. When, what I get from when he said that, when he said it ain't wrote to you, meaning if it's wrote to you, that means you know all the context of, of, of what he writing to you. Right. right. But it's right. written for you. Meaning you don't need to know all the context. Right. right. Okay, I, I can't get it. I'll pray. You kind of get it or you get it? I, need, I, I, I we, think we I got, got it. it. I think I got it. I think I got it. We got to get it. Get Proverbs 18 <laughs> and 2. The Lord put the spirit on you. Asked this question earlier. Earlier in the week. Remember you asked this question, Proverbs 18 and 2. Yes, we were talking about this. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 2. This is what we just seen. This is a perfect example of a fool. Oh, <laughs> Book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 2. So y'all brought out y'all scriptures about the uh, reference of Romans 9, 13. Paul was quoting Old Testament. Romans 11, Paul was quoting Old Testament. Now we just finna flat out and say, the dude is a damn fool. <laughs> yeah, that's what Bring it out. Right. A fool have no delight in understanding. He ain't got no delight in getting the real understanding right. of the Bible. What it's really saying. Go ahead. But that his heart may discover itself. But he want to just express himself to make himself feel better about himself. It got a footnote in this Bible. It got like a letter one. I'm going to read it. I come down to the one. And it says, express itself. So, but that his heart may discover himself, meaning he just wants to express himself to sound deep, to make somebody think he's smart. Mm. That's all it's saying. Damn. Damn. Deep dummy. Deep, deep dummy. dummy. It, ain't, it ain't in the Bible. It's of the Bible. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead I was going to say, then the crazy part about it. Um, can you read Deuteronomy 28? Uh, verse. Just, just pick one. <laughs> I mean, it's because it's, right. it's yeah, that yeah, simple, it's like, simple. Like, right. like, read verse 16. Just pick one. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16. Read it out. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So the Lord told the children of Israel that they would be cursed in the city, right? And when you read throughout the curses, it tell you all the curses that would befall the children of Israel, which we know that's us. Right. So... When he speak about it's not written to you, it's written for you, meaning you don't need to know all the context. Right. What he's saying is he he he's going in line with that old critical race theory thing. That's me thinking because you know. how much context do you need when you read Deuteronomy 28? From from Moses telling us this thousands of years ago. You got literally thousands from Babylon, Persia, right. Greece, Rome, America. You got all of that context right. that you saying you don't need. 
You know what that Because it's written for you It ain't written to you That go is what that dude said Idiot What mm-hmm. that dude That preacher that swagging and surfing That uh I forgot that from Atlanta. You know what I'm talking know about yeah, had New Year's parties Yeah yeah yeah, yeah the, the, uh, the young brother that's preaching With the dress He said the same similar thing I'm about to break it down for you He said on one of his segments That you ain't gotta know about The Old Testament Just start with Matthew And read about the life of Christ Don't worry about the Old Testament And everything else you just gonna get confused. It's right. don't worry about it. You remember when he said that? That was Matthew uh Michael Todd that said that. Right. He came that's, on uh Breakfast yeah. Club and said that. that oh, is, right. That's the same thing they go along the same, with critical race theory. It's the same, it's the same, same thing. thing. Don't worry the about everything thing. in context. Just get an overview of the Bible. Exactly. Just try to be a good person, you know. Just don't pick your nose in public. You gonna make, right. you gonna get the kingdom. <laughs> what the hell is this? There's gonna be a lot of people that shell shocked when that day comes. Exactly, exactly. Hey, look at him. Go ahead, go ahead, this go brother the, the the biggest problem this brother's got is that he don't know who he is. You sure don't. He don't know who he is. That's right. He Small likes Bryant. who he thinks he is. Mm. Right. That's the problem. Now ponder on that for a minute. He likes who he thinks he is. Get, go to uh, go to Isaiah right quick. Let me. I'm gonna show you something. Go to Isaiah 46. Bring it out. And team. I'm gonna show you something because uh, ain't nothing worse than a deep tied, dummy. He's getting tied up. In, yeah, That's he's getting tied right. up into uh, the generations and what the Bible is saying for that generation and for this generation and for the people now and. For the people that'll be born in the future. Mm. So, so when we read in Exodus 17 that the Most High gonna have war with Amalek from generation to generation. That, that, oh no, that's that's written for those people. That wasn't no, written. That's, that's written. That, that's, that's written. Right. That's right. That's crazy. That's that written to them. Sense. It wasn't written for you right now though. Man. That means until they stop generating. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. It's written for you, not to you. That's yeah. Crazy. All right. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 46, verse 10. Uh-huh. Declaring the end from the beginning. Uh huh. And from the ancient times, the things that are not, things that are not yet done, uh-huh. saying, "My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure." Now, because we know who we are, we understand that. We know that the Most High knows from the, the knows the end from the beginning. He knows the end from the beginning. Now, why did I read that? Let's go to Matthew right quick. Matthew, no, no, I'm gonna go to Malachi. Malachi three and six. Bring it out. Malachi three and six, because he declared the end from the beginning. Watch this. The book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6. Read it out. For I am the Lord, mm-hmm. I change not. Uh-huh. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So the Israelites are still here, too. The Israelites are still here. And the, the, the Most High knew the end from the beginning. So, with that being said, now this brother said, what did he say? We, this Bible was not written for us. It was right. written for us, it, not to us. Written for us. Like for us not, today to read, but it wasn't written to, to us, us personally. Now, for his information, it was written for us, by us, and, and to, to us. us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right. right. Hey, let me let me let me get one right quick. Cause now, hey, let y'all know I like to keep it simple. Hey, let's get Psalms 147, verse 19. Cause if I want to show something to Officer Kids, I gotta show it to you. Right. I can't say I want to show something for Officer Kids. No, I got to show it to you, right? Mm-hmm. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Read it out. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Does it? So there you go. <laughs> 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 hey, read, read, it read it again. Read it again. Read it again. I just want to hear it again. Uh, read it again. <laughs> he showed his word unto Jacob. To who? Unto Jacob. So it wasn't written to you. Who was written to? He shoved his word unto Jacob. Come on, man. That was a great yeah, one. I, it's self-explanatory. It's So, so what, I, what I gather is his problem is, it's not that it was written to us. It's that it wasn't written to white folks. Right. Right. That's his problem. <laughs> it all goes back to the white folks. I, I, told, I told y'all before we even started that this guy hates the Israelites. <laughs> yeah, sure man. Do. He hates his own he skin. He hates the Israelites. Because he's black. He had his right. gone because they black. He had everything <laughs> black. If it's black, he hated it. Black coffee, he hated it. Hate it himself. Oh, okay. hey, let me get one script. Black on the back of his neck. He hate it. Hey, go ahead, I was going. Hey, let me get one script. Hey, give me a, give me Psalm seventy eight and verse five. Go ahead. Say you hate to go to sleep. Go to sleep. You hate to make his eyes need to come back. Oh man. Hey, give me a Psalm seventy eight. Wicked, wicked, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Psalm 78 and 5, because it's going in the same context as the rest of everybody else done brought out. Because this Bible is written to us from the past, present, and future. And the Bible states That's that. Right. Psalm 78 and 5, and read uh, from 5 and verse 6. Psalm chapter 78, verse 5. For he established a testimony in Jacob. Jacob, that's Israel. And appointed a law in Israel. That's Israel again. 
which he commanded our fathers. Our fathers of the Israelites, read on. That they should make them known to their children. To who? To. That they should make them known <laughs> to their children. The children of the Israelites, right? To who? Right. The children of the Israelites. The children, read on. Let's say two, not two. four. <laughs> two, not <laughs> four, two. Right. To their children. Read verse six. That the generations to come. The generations to come. The generations of the Israelites to come in the future. This Bible is written to you. Read. Well, might know them. Might know them. Read. Even the children. Even shall, the children. Read. Which shall be born. So the children that shall be born in the future. Read. Who should arise and declare them to their children. To their children. So this Bible is written to the Israelites for all time. Point That's blank period. Right. Hey man, well, that, well, that scripture. Well, so, Play Psalm 78, 5 and verse 6. I got to put that down. So, wait a minute. Ha so he lying. Have the Israelites stopped having children? Uh, no, no. Oh, okay. We still, still populate during the day. Still generate. Right. <laughs> matter of fact, matter of fact, get that Jeremiah 31, 35. Bring 31, 35. Bring that brother crazy. I told y'all. I told y'all. He done it. He done it. Hey, and this get him. Get him. This is simply for anybody out there who get confused behind hearing other people talk about the Bible. Maybe right. you window shopping. You coming out of Christianity. Something's still confusing to you. You listening to the Israelites. You watching video. Then you go back to watching Christianity. Now nah, we finna clear it all up. Ain't no confusion. Right. Don't be confused. I don't know. He sound like he right. He ain't right. He wrong, yeah, damn it. Nah. Right. Read that thing, man. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 35. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day. Uh-huh. And the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night. So he get the sun for a light by day, the moon for a light by night, read. Which divide up the sea when the waves there are roar. So we understand that the moon pulls on the sea and causes the tides. We understand that. Keep reading. The Lord of hosts is his name. He, that's his name. If those ordinances depart from, from before me. So if those ordinances, which is the ordinance of the sun, and the ordinance of the moon, if they depart but from the Most High God, read. Saith the Lord. Uh huh. Then the seed of Israel. Uh huh. Also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. So we still a nation, y'all. The seed That's of right. Israel. We still a nation, <laughs> right, bro. Right. We still a nation. I got one more. Give me Romans fifteen Read four, out. man. Romans fifteen four. We can we can just bust this dude upside That's the head so all day. It's so hard to believe, man. It's just so hard to believe for folks like the Lord love us that much. He said if the sun, moon, and stars wasn't here, right. y'all wouldn't be here. Right. That's heavy. Cause guess who they made for? Us. Uh, us. So, right. if we, so if we wasn't here, then they wouldn't be here. That's right. That's right. Hey, bro, it's so heavy. You don't think of just growing up black. Hey, yeah, the right, sun, right, moon, right, and stars yeah. here for that's, me. That's for me. No, nah, yes, bro. It's for you. That's I can't, for me. We can't accept that. Right. We got to. We got to. We the guys on this earth, bro. Right. Yes. Right. That's right. And that, don't, that right. needs no context at right. all. Right. Right. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that's, that's, the love, that, that's the love of a father. Man, the most right. high man, you know he, he killed nations for us. We he ransom <laughs> men for us. He put them to death. That's like well, I'm just learning now as a parent. You can have a kids. Your kids, you they don't understand how much you love them. You might right. you know chastise them one of you. Do. Hey man, you my son. I love you. The Lord look at us like that. He wants mm -hmm. us to get it right. He yeah. do so much for us, but we can't see how much he really love us. Right. We 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 in a bad spot. That's why I said we really jacked up. We really jacked up because we let. The most high had to put this base man on top of us. Yes. Crawling up out the sewer with a... With you a, see how he crawled about that thing? Right, right. <laughs> crawled about that thing? Right. What it was his natural thing? habitat. Bruh. And then he, he he so crafted that he got our brother thinking that he one of him. He look in the mirror and see right. his yes. own self. Read that scripture, bro. The book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 4. Uh -huh. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Uh-huh. That we do patience. And comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So we get hope through the scriptures. We the things that are written the four times, so the things written in Genesis, Exodus, that's all for our learning, right? That's right. That's right. That's what the scriptures say. That Go hope. Ahead. I was thinking about how Bishop talked about talked about that battle fatigue. Right. And a lot of you know, I I experienced that. I'm pretty sure y'all have experienced that. Mm -hmm. And you get that hope from hearing the promises, like, hey, you can endure, we're gonna have power over the, over the nations. Hey, bro, we're gonna the sun, rule him with a rod of iron. Rule him with a rod of iron. That right, rat right. put his we, head up, we're we gonna, gonna knock his <laughs> back right, down. Right. Come out the sewer. Get your ass back down up in there. <laughs> we go, no, come right. out the <laughs> hole. That's what I'm telling you. Because we know, we know we, you know, I all pray to the most high we see this happening. You know, and I know we don't stray far away from the emergency room. We're gonna get up out of here. Oh, but crazy. we fishers men right now. The most right. high has ordained us to be fishermen, but it's gonna That's be a time. Right. We're going to be hunters. And, you know, all praise to the most high. We're well, going to be hunters. Get them. Get them. Get them. I, I think, I think the, the brother have a heartbeat. 
Because he, he, he read the Bible. He don't understand it. What because it, he ain't keeping the commandments. But the scripture, brother got a heartbeat. The scripture say, the scripture say, I'll I find the scripture for him, bro. Uh, a living dog <laughs> oh, is better okay. than a dead lion. Right. Let me find the scripture Proverbs. real fast, bro. Let me find the scripture real fast so, uh, so we can read So he ain't got no heartbeat. He no, does. no, no. I'm saying he, 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 he long as he alive, he good. Okay, all right, okay. Ecclesiastes 9 and 4. Yeah, I'll praise. Good, good job. Man, you find that thing fast. He got a chance. Read that. Maybe. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 4. Uh -huh. For to him that is joined to all the living, uh -huh. there is hope for a living dog. So he said for him that is joined to all the living. The brother's alive, bro. He's still alive. He's in the emergency room. We need help. He's alive. Keep reading. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. So the scripture say a living dog, even though you a lowly dog, like the woman said, even the dog ain't from the master table. Get a crumb. <laughs> and a lion has so much power, so much pump. He's beautiful. His mane is flowing. But if he's dead, he can't read. No good. Yeah. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. Uh-huh. For the living know. That they shall die. So the living know that they shall die, so they can get a chance to get it right. Keep reading. But the dead know not anything. Uh, it's over with. Message. Keep reading. Neither have they any more a reward. So it's over with. So the thing is, the brother's a living dog right now. He living amongst the dog. He love his oppressor, the dog. So all praise to the most high, he's still living. Maybe, maybe, you know, in Lord the future will. we can come back and help this brother out. Man. Put a little anesthesia on. I, at least he'll pick up the Bible. Right. Some of our people, some right, of our people right, right. won't pick it up. They tear it up. Hey, y'all remember we was in uh, Meridian, and, and remember we saw the Bible had been towed up. Right. We got there to camp. So, it, it, yeah, man, brother, at least pick up the Bible. All praise. I, I, I got you it. got some hope for him. We're going to have some hope for him, too. Just a bit. All praise to the most high. Listen, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back with our actual, what we're supposed to be talking about. <laughs> 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 We got caught up talking about Amalek, and we're going to have war with them, though. Right. Y'all know, we're going to have war with them right. from generation to generation. The most I said so. That's right. right. So and, um, we had to go into our emergency room to help that brother out. I think, he, like I said, he's an imam, a chaplain. Uh, he might be from the synagogue of Satan, too, man. So. <laughs> he, I, don't, I think he's a he-mom. He's a he-mom. 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 You know, they had a, they had a cartoon name, wow. He-Man. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. But he ain't got, got no, no power. He ain't no he-man. He's a he-man. He's not a he-man. He's a he-man. He ain't got no power. Okay, I'll pray. Damn. <laughs> hey, we're going to take a quick rush break, bro. <laughs> we'll be back, man. Slow Mo Time Crazy Black. On Kill the Culture. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. All praises, all praises to the most high God, all praises. We back, we back. Yes, sir. That's we right. back in here, man. Listen, I want y'all to pull that thumbnail up, man. Let's look at that thumbnail and uh, see what we got there. Let's look at that thumbnail. Read that, bro. The Dangers of the Internet, Part 2. All praise to the Most High. So once again, we're diving into the depths of the dangers of the Internet. We did a show last week on the dangers of the Internet. We touched on a lot of things that the, our children deal with um, with the Internet and how it plays a role. I think we had one dude that said that um, he thought... Um, he said his niece thought imagination was an app. Imagination was an app on a phone. <laughs> Bro, wow. hey, it probably is <laughs> at this point. Probably. But listen, bro, you know, uh, and we all talked about how we, we were kids. We um, we we had to use our imagination. I, I explained about when I had a um, uh, a clothespin, and I, you know, I zoomed around like it was a car or something. You know, um, we we all played with stuff that that made our imagination um, perk. So. The internet has taken away a lot of that things dealing with our children. But also, even with our men and our women, the internet can be very dangerous. Go ahead, Officer Levin. Pull up that video. I know you have. Oh, praise it. Y'all got an article ready, too, Officer? Oh, no, no. I, okay, just, okay. I had an app uh, downloaded on my phone. It got imagination. It's called Imagine. It's an app called Imagine on the phone. I'm blown, mind blown. Yeah. 
<laughs> bro, you can't make that I'm up. I'm done. Yeah, no. <laughs> Put a fork in me. I'm done. It's over. No, no, Finish. no. Why are you surprised? Man, I mean, we, we talk about this all the time. It's Babylon. We in a Babylon. We in America. <laughs> Anything you want. Don't If, if you thought <laughs> about it, they got it. You know <laughs> me, you talk about this all the time. That's right. Don't, I ain't surprised no more. Oh, right. This, this is bad. This is crazy. This is a very, very bad. bad. Yeah, man. This is crazy. Let's get everything queued up. If y'all got it, I have posted it. If y'all on the on the uh, if y'all posted it. I didn't have that. I talked oh, that's, about. Yeah, that's the article I pulled up later. Well, you can hit your article. Go ahead. They got it pulled up. Hit Officer Baruch article. Since y'all so got it pulled up already. About the, the the danger of the internet. Right. And and over in China, they have their TikTok is way different than ours. Hey, scroll down a little bit. Let's see. Let's see. What, 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 let's see. Read that thing. Is TikTok different? Stop right there. Yep. I started. T- although. Okay. Although they they are owned by the same company, TikTok in China offers a child friendly version with educational videos and a time limit that isn't offered in the U.S. So right there, it's saying they got educational videos. They focus on educational videos, and it has a time limit. Well, what do they? What does our TikTok look like? It don't be nothing on that educational. Hell no. Nah. Exactly. The damn show ain't got no time limit. You can be on there all day watching TikTok videos, and, and what? Guess what they gonna feed you in America? That foolishness. That it's an evil world we live in. Scroll down a little bit. Go ahead. How does the U.S. algorithm compare? In the U.S., TikTok is known by, for its addicting, personalized, and predictive algorithm, specifically tailored to the interests of whoever is scrolling, according to an investigation by the Wall Street Journal. So stop right there. It's known for its what? Addicting. So guess what? If you handing your baby that phone and you saying, look, watch these videos while mama go do this, while daddy go do that, guess what? You're addicting your child to TikTok. TikTok is raising your child, and guess what? Because you was on that earlier watching this and that, guess what they're going to put on in front of your baby? This and that. Right. Same thing. Mm. Read on, watch. Hold on, read on. TikTok doesn't have a specific version made for children, and limits are, com- are completely vo- voluntarily and can be set up by parents if they wish to do so accordingly. According to 60 Minutes. So guess what? And I'm going to leave right here. So guess what? I, I promise you, how many people are actually setting up the the, the, the parental locks? The guidelines? The controls on those phones. They're not doing it. They're not doing it. It's voluntary, and your baby is being raised by TikTok. Damn. That's all I got. Man, that's true, man. That's why we was reading, um, we read last week about Deuteronomy. Um, six about how we should teach our children, you know, in the morning, when we sit in the house, when we walk about the way, and before we lay down at night. That's a very vital part of us uh, curing this culture that we have dealing with these uh, social media and the internet. But go ahead, Officer Lavin. Okay, I'll praise it. That was a great segue, what you talked about, Officer Brute. Hopefully, IT got it ready. All right, basically stop it. Go to the first timestamp. I wanted y'all to show the picture. I, I really wanted to, the thumbnail did it, but I really wanted y'all to show the picture of the documentary. First timestamp, and then we're gonna jump right into it. So go ahead, just skip to the first timestamp. Cause what you were saying about the TikTok, they show different things over there than they show over here. Mm-hmm. The video, this documentary, finna get into the effects. It's a great documentary. I sent it to my wife. I had her watch it. She watched it. We talked about it. Some great talking points. If you single or not, if you got kids, it's a great documentary to watch. And then put scriptures with it. Start at that first timestamp, y'all. Remember, whereas everything online, oftentimes it's so far out of what they can imagine because they're not using the technology the same way that kids are. The parents not using the technology the same way kids are. Play. Enough to know what to be afraid of. The greater danger is definitely mental versus physical in this world. Um, Stop. The question, I had to chop it. The question was, what's more dangerous? What the parent got to worry about? Physical harm or social media harm for their children? That's the question. 
right. play on. I see it. The biggest issues that have come up with our kids have all been mental. We've already been introduced to sexuality, cyberbullying, marketing and persuasion. The dangers for my kids that are more present are way more mental and emotional. I think parents are aware that there are mental dangers out there, but I feel like we're constantly, as parents, you just tend to think that probably won't happen to my kid. Statistically speaking, our world is much safer outside in the neighborhood. Those physical dangers are much less likely to happen than the dangers that we're seeing online. That's it. So it's more dangerous online. Jump to the second timestamp. They saying it's more dangerous. Go to 2520. It's more dangerous being online than it's actually going outside your house. Because, it's because, statistics. Because of the mental effect. It's it's not a physical thing. Uh, you're going to get beat up. Right. What, what, what happens, the stuff that you've been exposed to online right. is tearing you apart. And, this is the dangers of the internet. And this this next timestamp finna get into it. I just want to get that opening in. Go ahead. Now, it's, it's a lot of them, but this one's going to be talking about getting likes, and it's going to segue into sex, pornography, and everything mentally it, it does. Go ahead. Really punishing when it's negative. Uh, Ms. Stanfield, I, I, I was a little confused by one thing you said. Did you say Google doesn't use persuasive technology? That is correct, sir. What gets the most likes? More spin, more likes. Stop. Yeah. Does Google use persuasive technology? Persuading you to do certain things, putting certain things in your face. Don't get confused now. And the lady right here said, what gets more likes? What gets more likes? Play on. The girl, go back a few seconds, go back a few seconds, then play. What gets the most likes? More sin, more likes. Yeah. <laughs> Girls okay. in bathing suits. Yeah. You have to. Wait, wait. She, she said yourself. more you sin. No, more skin. More skin. More skin. More, more, skin. more, more likes. skin. More sin. Same thing. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, let's on. Finish. On. Oh, listen. Oh, yeah. It's oh, very much oh, for them. Play on. Or you have to post a bikini pic or something that's revealing in order to get a lot of likes. The more attractive you are, more likes you get. Hot girls get a lot of likes. Paris day and age, you couldn't get on your phone and be like, oh my gosh, look at Kim Kardashian's life. We have the ability to compare ourselves with other people. We weren't really worried about what we were wearing because everybody in the whole world wasn't watching us. The pressure to maintain the perfect image online is huge. On the flip side, if they post something and either don't get likes or get poor comments, then it's hit with depression. But you know what you look so, like. You so so yeah. this, this, is the yeah. th this is the thing. This is it. Um, and this is one of the dangers of the internet when somebody gets fully immersed in that in which our children are being done it's being done by our children when they don't get the things the gratification they need with the likes or whatever then it says depression sets on because their whole world is centered around this particular thing because do you know what they ain't outside climbing trees they ain't playing with no bicycle with cars in the spokes they own this internet give That's me that Go ahead, go ahead. I was just gonna say that's just the these are these are these side effects lead into uh, psychopathy. Right, they create right. a little psychopath, little narcissist right. yes. on the internet. You see what I'm saying? That's what the documentary is getting into. That's crazy. In the beginning, it opened up with the evolution of how was it growing up back in our day, meaning like you know the generation before right, us. Right. And they said there was out there. Hey, you go outside, stay outside. I'm outside 24 seven. Let's put a scripture real quick. Sirach 20 and 20, 30 and verse 23. Sirach chapter 30, verse 23. As far as like, what the, it just said, the more likes you get, the better you feel. The right, less likes right. you get, it brings on anxiety. It, it, it brings on depression. depression right. I'm not like that school amongst my peers. They don't look at me as cool. Hey, you suck. You ain't got no followers. It gets that deep. Read Sirach, but the Bible says this. Sirach 30 and verse 23. The book of Sirach, chapter 30, verse 23. Come on. Love thine own soul. The Bible say what? Love thine own soul. And when we got the effects of social media bringing about depression in a heavy state behind people not getting likes, that's a bad thing. You're bringing about depression. I, I'm not, I must not be good enough. I'm not liked at school. Right. And believe it or not, a lot of young 
folks deal with this, even older folks. Go yeah. ahead, officer. No, I'm just gonna say. I just just talking about this. This reminds me of a show on Netflix called Black Mirror. If y'all ain't seen that, five so Black, Black Mirror. Mirror. The I first, the right. very first episode of the first season. They got your your boy that played uh Fred Hampton. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh-huh. I forget his name. Daniel something played right. Fred Hampton played on uh Queen and Slim. Right. But the the premise of the first episode is surrounding you know what I'm saying social media and pretty much being entertaining. And what it is is he lives in this box. Right, he wake up every morning and he don't get a chance to look outside. Like we look outside, we can see the sun and the trees. Now the lights come on on all the screens around him, and it be uh, trees and sun oh, and all that stuff on that. And they gotta do stuff. They gotta perform for uh, like likes and different things to you know. So it's pretty much to to live right in that thing. So it's it's real crazy, real heavy that they that they made that. But that's kind of the world that we live in. I'm about to check that out. It's called Black, Black Mirror. Mirror. Black Mirror. That go finish the scripture. That go right along with what we're bringing out. Love thine own soul. And comfort thy heart. Remove sorrow far from thee. For sorrow have killed many. And there is no profit therein. Ain't no profit in indulging in something that's always going to bring about depression. I feel bad. Let's play on. And if y'all got something, by all means, jump in there. Bro, we not going to go through all of these, man. No, no, we don't go through all of them. Play on. You got to do a class, bro. I just want to hit the, that, that one praise. and then the next one about This is good, though. This the is pornography good stuff. and the all sex. Praise. Yeah, I, stop at pornography because I want to bring up a point. Right, I, right. Go ahead. You can see yourself. You don't need... <laughs> um, yeah, but it's not how you look like yeah. this. It's like how you look like on that. It's not checking to see if their hair's okay. It's seeing if they look like the girl that they saw on Instagram that was perfect. Seeing people like that, it's like, why can't I, you know, look like that? And it's weird because we know that they're made up and they're not like 100% authentic pictures. Girls like strongly edit their pictures and like you can tell like the wall is bent at their waist or like. (laughs) But it just still makes you feel like they're always ready for a phone. It's like they're constantly prepared to be captured by something and be shown to the world. All right, stop. Let's jump to the last time last time stamp. Forty two ten. Hey, and what what that what the little eater might say was is real heavy, um, about they understand that that's not real. Yes. They understand but they still can't help themselves and, and want to portray that thing. I want to pursue it. And they Feening for a phone. It's, it's like the new crack these days. Right. They said it's... I think Cocaine's I said, said this a few one time. In the same documentary, they were saying how the people who created this, they wanted to get that effect of, of brain dopamine. And they made it similar to where when you swipe your, I guess, refresh, it's similar, very similar to you've been in the casino with a slot machine. You pull right. it down. Same thing. But the effect of about to win something. It's an excitement. And it's a constant, constant, constant of trying to get you staying on there. Until you lost all your money. It basically. Yeah. Right. Until you until you done indulged in depression, anxiety. You lost and you, your damn mind. Yeah. yeah. Go to right. uh, 4210. 4210. Be somebody who at a very young age was exposed to pornography. I discovered a stack you know, of magazines when I was way too young. And that planted a lot of curiosity hey, in hey, me. Hey, stop right there. And I want you to notice that what he said, because he's an older man. He's not very young. But he yes. said he discovered a stack of magazines. This is some some somebody went out and bought. Mm-hmm. Yes. I was sent to the house. Yeah. Paperwork, magazines. Go ahead, because I think I know where he's going. In the evolution of this, right. I had to skip a timestamp. I'm at, Lord, we'll do some more on this. Yes, yes. They were saying how basically 25% of the social media, 25% of the media, period, just whatever, sports, the whole world, 25% of that, 26% of that is pornography. Wow! And they saying it's like the similar similar to you got four books on the desk. you giving your child a one out of four chance to pick up pornography every time you give them a phone. Damn! Play on. That I wasn't ready for, quite honestly. I didn't know what to do with that. Um, and we could talk a long time about what that did to me later in life and what that did to distort just my views of sex and intimacy, even as a, you know, a young adult and as a married man, um, even leading to an addiction of my own to pornography that was destructive in a lot of ways. And that was years ago, but I can link all of those things together. And I'm a guy that did not grow up in the digital age, yet I was exposed to something that I wasn't ready for. 
I didn't have anybody who was giving me any sort of baseline to compare that to. So a combination of that early exposure plus the internet became a very toxic thing for my life. I feel like a lot of porn does, um, I guess, show the woman as more submissive and it kind of puts that idea, I guess, in can boys' I, can minds. I, go yeah, ahead, can go I just finish on go this? Go can we get Colossus 3 and 5? Because this is what the, the, um, what the man pointed out about the, the effects of pornography on the mind. Yes. You know what I'm saying? When you look at that, and you, this, this is the first time you ever, imagine this being the first time you've ever seen just we should be honest, a woman with her clothes, you just, just something like that type of interaction. Yes. Right? Now you're not, you in your mind, you thinking that's how that's supposed to be. Yes. And eventually you begin to want that, strive for that. Mm-hmm. Watch this. Colossians 3 and 5. This is why God got to say this. Read that. The book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 5. Uh-huh. Read it out. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. You got to, you got to, we have to, we have to mortify our members that are upon the earth. We have to deaden the the flesh that was in us because a lot of us were exposed to that at a young age, very young age. You understand? And, and we can see now, like you were just bringing out, obviously, if, if that much porn is on the internet, chances are your children probably have seen porn if you right. give them your phone enough. I think, you understand? I, don't, I don't know if it's on this one, but it's like the age limit from like, the earliest is like from eight years old to at the earliest, like seven, eight. Mm-hmm. They, it ain't if it ain't it ain't if they gonna watch it. It's a matter of when. Yes, mm-hmm. it's happening. It's, it's happening. definitely happening. Keep reading it. So, so this is why we gotta mortify. It. Watch this, y'all. Fornication. Fornication. That's porn. Read. Uncleanness. Uncleanness. That's porn. She still. We just stopped it on ones that said, "Uh, gang bang revenge." Yes. Hey. Right. And yeah. they clicking on that. That's the, they you're clicking actively on that. clicking on. That's different. It's a bunch of folks in that one, and they doing what? Yes. Let me watch that. That's right. uncleanness. Right. Come on. Inordinate affection. Inordinate affection. Some of them got bestiality on there. It's a horse. Or it's a dog on there with the woman. Let me watch that one. Come on, you see, you seeing what? A, how you going down the rabbit hole? And this starts right. to create different yeah, things right. in your mind. A whole different perception on uh, what sex and what intimacy is supposed to be like. Right. Mm-hmm. Not only now between a man and a woman, between a, uh, uh, animals, cartoon characters. Yes. Man on man. Keep yeah. Woman on Definitely. woman. Definitely. Can't Keep. just skip past it. I, I, okay. you, you said cartoon characters. <laughs> yeah. Because that the anime has that stuff involved in it too right yes. right, right. Yeah. and then the thing about it just, just real quick with the anime they'll do things like 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 your your favorite cartoon show yep <laughs> you yeah. know yeah. cartoon right. you used to watch wow. right. they'll put it you know what I'm saying with, with, with anime Mick, dog on Mickey Mouse on there right mm-hmm. keep reading it wow. evil concupiscence that's an evil concupiscence concupiscence come on and covetousness all that is what which is idolatry idolatry the man said he was addicted to it by that point. After right. a while, it becomes addictive. Now you're looking for it. You're trying to find, oh, it's some magazines over here. Let me see if I can find some old magazines. Let me see if, oh, they got. They might have some DVDs. I know when I was going up, they had DVDs. That's the right. evolution you know, of it. Right, you know right, right, right. I know, I know. That's the evolution of it. The point was is now, I don't know if it's this segment on one of my stamp, time stamps. They saying you giving your child a little box of porn every time you put the phone in their hand. They really got to pay for And expecting them not to indulge in it mm-hmm. it's like what it, like even though it's under the guise of i need to get access to my child it's under the guise of i want to be you know maybe sure we, we can talk any time of the day they get in trouble they can call me okay understand what you're doing here it is that thing becomes an idol at this point. yes right wow hey, it's funny man that that you said that that you that they're giving them a, a, a little oh. box of porn a weapon yes hey i put hey i just put something up there uh, it's a little with the little yellow, uh, yeah, that right there. Scroll down. All right, read that. If the first wars were fought with sticks and stones, modern warfare is a high-tech battlefield where social media has emerged as a surprising and effective weapon. Stop it. That's it. Damn. Social media is a weapon against our people. Like you say, when you get your baby that phone, you give your baby, back in the day we were coming up, you give your baby a loaded gun. Right. Because mm-hmm. cause now they see us marching. They say, oh, wait a minute. The, 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 the grown ones, they organizing. They coming together. Well, you know what? Let's attack the little ones. Mm-hmm. That's what they see. said in that one, that one little thing. Exactly. One thing. They say, let's, let's give, you know what? They get that phone. Give them that phone. Well, you can get in their mind. Well, see, and last week we had brought this, Episode out about um, 
you had brought it up about the what the the gay people was yes, gonna sir, do. Yes, sir. They got an yeah. agenda uh, to get the kids. It's an yes. agenda, and they right. said we yep. gonna do it subtly in your face, and it and it all goes to the same thing. Whether it's the internet or, or like even like when I was growing up, we had this grocery store named Win Dixie, and we used to go to Win Dixie, and the kids would have to sit in the car. They would have. My parents had shotguns on the back window. I don't know yeah. if y'all remember that. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Remember. Nobody messed with that thing. Yep. Nobody messed. Yeah. Sure Nobody did. touched that gun at all. Uh, uh, however many it was, they was laying around the house. But nowadays, if you do that, you go going to jail because yeah. somebody finna hurt somebody. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's what we see our our, cause our young kids. They start off them video games. Mm-hmm. You can kill somebody, press reset. Mm-hmm. Well, this world ain't like that. And that's what we see happening also with our people is people just, like, in my hometown, somebody just got shot. A brother shot a sister in the house playing with a gun. Damn! Hey, can, hey, can I get Isaiah three real quick? Because Man. because this like like you bringing out as far as the kids and the internet, this whole digital age, it it plays a major part into what we're about to read. Uh, read to Isaiah three and one. The book of Isaiah chapter three verse one. For behold, for behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, they'll take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and the staff, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water. So a support system. Go ahead. The mighty man. The mighty man, read. And a man of war. Come on. The judge. Read. And the prophet. Read. And a prudent and the ancient, the captain of fifty. Uh-huh. And an honorable man. Read. And a and a and a counselor. And a cunning artificer. And an eloquent orator. So all these men, all these mighty men that the Lord took away from us. When you when you look at what the Lord called these men, these are men of age. These men that put work in. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Like you say, 20, 30 years ago, you had older men that that had somewhat of a of a of a of a control over the community. But by the Lord taking this away from us and enter that playing a big part in that, mm-hmm. read on. And I will give children to be their princes. You see that? The internet causes this. Mm. The internet is the main reason of this. It says I would give children to be their prince because what? You pick up a phone. Back in the day, they had things like cookbooks. You know what I'm saying? You you gotta actually learn that book to be able to learn how to cook. That's right. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, you pick up the, you pick up a phone and it's like, okay, I know more about basketball than, than a man that been doing it for thirty years. That's right. Mm-hmm. So now th- you got this little child just because they got access to the internet, some videos. They think they can usurp authority over the over the man that's actually been doing these things. Oh, like like right. leadership bring out. Leadership been been doing this 30 plus years. But you have younger brothers that come into the body, just because they watch a couple of videos, they think, okay, I'm, I know more of the leadership now. They breaking this down wrong. They don't understand this. Wrong. Well, you young. This this phone has corrupted you as a child. Damn, to right. the point where you now you think you know more than your own leadership. Bring it out. Can and, we and, and, no, go ahead. I'm no, I'll I'll be finished real quick. And like, and when you look throughout society, like when it's when it's speaking about giving children to rule over us, when you look at society, the feminist movement, mm-hmm. you got you got things like sports to where, where like where like all the older gentlemen, all the older coaches, guess what? They retiring, and not, uh, it's it's a wave of young people coming into all the, of of this this bubble called America. So it ain't the older generation that's really really out front. You know what I'm saying? Doing the thing, not it's the younger generation, right? And, and that's going to destroy America. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Read out. Even with that, when you said that, when you reading that, when you said the eloquent orator in that scripture, the verse uh, three, I got to think it about NBA young boy. A lot of our children's favorite rapper. He had a song. I I I, I don't know what it said because I literally can, the song is literally you cannot understand a single word he is saying. This is who is leading our people. Right. Lil Yachty, just to him. You see, we mean tell me Lil <laughs> Lil Yachty is a leader. They, that, that, that's, is that right? That's how they look at yep. him. Yeah. Wow. Man, listen, I heard my kids told me they don't teach cursive writing no more. They don't. Uh-uh. They don't. No. no, no more sense. cursive writing, bro. I know. When I was in school. These these children do not know how to write they in cursive. They write like yeah. with a pencil or a pen at all. <laughs> wow. Man, when I was in school, cursive writing that was mandatory by the second grade. Right. Man, that's mm-hmm. how I learned not cursive no writing in the yeah. second grade. Can we get? It's a video. Let me. I want to finish one more on this. If okay. I can, a few more. It's going. It's going to touch a nerve. Go ahead. It's go going to touch a nerve. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Don't lose your thought now. Yes, sir. Play on. It just leads to guys. 
objectifying women a lot, you know? And then they forget about the whole relationship part, and that's all they think of now is just sex, because that's all they've seen. Like, I know we've been talking about, like, a lot of, like, guys are, like, into pornography, but, like, a lot of girls are, too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like, I don't even think parents have, like, the birds and the bees talk anymore, because kids will know about it by the time they're, like, eight if they have access Eagle. to social media. Damn! <laughs> yeah. It's just, honestly, I've died. <laughs> but it's just faster now, and it's younger. 20% of youth report that they uh, came across it, children, you know, that it was unwanted. But we can now be in different places and we're in a group chat and somebody shares it, everybody's got it if they open it. And in the elementary schools that I'm in, I typically hear counselors saying, yeah, we've got kids that are already seeking that out in, in the elementary school age. Sex is not something that is easy to talk about with your kid at any age, but it's something that you absolutely have to talk about. and at a younger age than you might think, because even if he couldn't access pornography on his personal device or through our home, uh, you know, cable, um, somebody on the bus probably could. Let's see, we can stop it right there. We can stop it right there. Well, see, like the announcer Rod brought out last week about how you, when you was in playing a role in, in school, would give them mm -hmm. computers. Mm -hmm. They would do certain things on the computers mm -hmm. at the school. Give them. I just wanted to pull like just just the back just to touch on that what you said social media being a weapon we gotta we gotta bring Amulet back into this right 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 bring it out bring it out the right. spirit. depths of this like why is this like this can we get that uh, the lobby y'all seen the timestamp on it can we pull that up I want to read one scripture Revelation two or twenty four and then we gonna take a look at this because this is what we gotta understand Revelation chapter two and twenty four for me and we can play the video make sure y'all got the right timestamp Revelation chapter two verse twenty four because this is what we finna talk about but unto you I say and unto the rest in Thyatira, mm -hmm. as many as have not this doctrine, and which have not, and which have not known the depths of Satan, and which have not known the depths of Satan. What we about to try to get into is the depths, the levels of Satan in right. the synagogue of Satan, the sewer rats, the ninja, uh, ninja turtles in them. The right? devil. You want because like we're talking about the dangers of the internet, right? You wondering how. When you're looking at your phone, you may think about something, and all of a sudden right. it pop up on your yeah. phone. Or right, right. All these folks going to jail. Uh, the Negroes just crazy. When they uh, everybody you got uh, jacked up off them uh, PPP loans and all this different stuff, right. and how your child is able to access porn websites and they can't even spell their own name. Right. right. Let's see. Pull that up. Just play that timestamp. It's modeled on General Stanley McChrystal's counterinsurgency strategy in Iraq. We've copied a lot from that strategy that has been working really well for us, actually. And one of the pieces is this operations and intelligence brief. We're using social media intelligence, a tool called Radian 6. So stop. We're just, phasing. Just so we know what we talk about. It says they are using social media intelligence um, called Radian 6. I'm about to send you an article real quick what Radian 6 is. So they ain't playing around. They really going in depth on this. It's like you were saying, the depths yeah. of Satan. They it's really going in depth on figuring out the the mind the neurological effects it does to you you know what's gonna make you want it more get you addicted to it yes this ain't no game pull this up right here i'm posting it there it is right there pull that up what is radiant six go read that and then we're gonna come back to the article the studies be going on down in that tunnel he came up <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Pull it yeah. up and read about what Bring is Radiant 6. Listen, this is what we talking about. The depths of Satan. This is what he doing. Go back. Go all the way up to the top. Right there. What is Radiant 6? We can just read that first paragraph. We can go back to the video. Radiant 6 is a social listening tool that is dedicated to listen, uh -huh. analyze, uh -huh. and engage information from shared publicly online. It says Radiant no 6 is a social listening tool that is dedicated to listen, analyze, and engage information being shared publicly online. So we wonder we wonder why when we share certain things and mm -hmm. we post certain things, even when certain things are suggested to us, mm -hmm. it's because they're using a social a a social listening tool. I, last time I checked, when you listen to something, you can hear that, right? <laughs> yeah. They yeah. can hear you when you're talking on the phone, they can see everything that you do, every little thing you make, every little interaction you make online, right, with things like Radiant 6. Read that whole thing, and we're going to find out who made that. Radiant 6 is an online tool under the Salesforce brand. Mm -hmm. And All Famous Digital is the authorized reseller of this program. And I seen So now go back to the video. Now we know what Radiant 6 is, and we know what they're doing. Well, let's see where that comes from. 
or who that comes from. That out over the next year. Could it be Satan? Right. Let's, let's see. <laughs> let's find out. The technology that's was developed in Israel. Wait, wait, ho, 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 ho. Take Damn it back. Take it back. That's a bomb. Let them play, play, pull it back to to where they tell it what it is, and let's just listen to that part. Let me just just make sure nobody missed that. Called Iranian Six, we're phasing that out over the next year, and we're bringing on more sophisticated technology that's was developed in Israel. So. Not only are they wow. using the Radio 6, they saying they bringing in more sophisticated right, technology that made well in Israel. Right. You have not known the depths of Satan. You wonder why your, your children under attack. You wonder why you under attack online. It's the synagogue of Satan, bro. It's crazy. The Negro find that was created by Amalek. in America by Amalek. By Amalek. Bishop Yawasop got to get his money. He was saying it for a long time. Sure hey, yeah. say so he jumped off the table with a pants sagging and ran out the room. <laughs> Can we, I think it's a little bit more on that. It's just like another minute wow. more. Can we just play that last little to the end of the timestamp? Y'all can jump in on this. He said they didn't get finished with him, bro. They didn't get finished with him. Play it. An American should not be spied on by a foreign government that is able to access all this information and possibly undermine their ability to exercise their democratic rights in this country. So we're not dealing with amateurs. This is not an amateur work. We're dealing with a government that have a ministry at a ministerial level engaged in the systematic targeting of activists outside of its sovereign borders. The only way it's going to stop is if, you know, somebody in the government uh, points out this is illegal and we're not going to tolerate it. And if we do tolerate it, other countries are going to do it as well. There's a company called Census, S-E-N-S-U-S. -S. It's like very pricey, though, you know. We had to raise like hundreds of thousand dollars yeah. just for it. It's going to increase our discovery rate. We're discovering just about everything we need. It's also going to bring new sources online that we weren't able to access in an automated fashion, like message boards. And um, we have ways to crawl message boards right now and to monitor them, but it's like disconnected from the event and activity discovery mechanism so that we want that system to be all integrated. So there, we just signed the contract yesterday for um, them to start that work. They actually already started it. Good friends in Israel that are helping us with that. Good right. friends in Israel that are helping us so with that. So they be tied and integrated. They be tied into everything. Right. Y'all think y'all hiding stuff on the internet. You think you do what you want to do. This ain't your internet. Do understand sure. that. Can we get Psalm 64? I, I was just going there, man, bro. Right now. We all, right you now. don't know how deep this go right. when it comes to keeping us in sin. Right. right. Bring that off. No, go ahead. Obviously, mm. you in the spirit. I was just thinking that. Psalm 64 and 4. Because these people, they the devil the Bible speak of. In case you haven't heard it That's enough. That's right. They are the devil the Bible speak Read of. Now you know. For sure. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 64, verse 4. Uh -huh. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. That they may do what? Shoot in secret at the perfect. These are why these inventions are created. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. It ain't nobody that you can see sitting around using this technology. You know right. What I mean? This is a secret that if not for like this video, we wouldn't even know about this. Exactly. Right. All Bro. this automated system, everything you do, every interaction you make, every conversation you have, you say you can get into the message board. So in the comments, in the chat rooms, in the uh, the social media apps, where you just messaging apps. We they even... in all of that, seeing what you saying, how you think they had the leadership on the Canary mission? Right. Faces, names, Bring it out. they got address, to anything yeah. they want any information they want from you they have access to that so they can shoot in secret at the perfect they now they seeing all the interactions you make now they seeing okay i can trip him up with this i see he watching that israelite stuff let me put a little porn in there right let me put a little uh, up, rap music up. in there let me put a little murder in there you right. see what i'm saying finish it out. hold up you said it you said it they shooting what? They shooting the pornography mm -hmm. right through That's them right. waves. They mm -hmm. shooting the uh, maybe not directly. They're going to shoot a movie that you like that got pornography in it. Right. They know it's going to trip yep. your mind up. Mm -hmm. They shooting these darts at us. That's on point, officer. Man, listen. Y'all got to start from verse one, man. That's on point. Yeah. Go ahead and start Bring from verse down. one, man. Bring it out. Go ahead and start from verse one, man. And listen, listen. I'm just, I just want y'all to start from verse one. Y'all can bring it out, but yeah, this is he this is real heavy. Because um, our brother was praying. He, he praying to the Most High in this particular time. But read that, bro. Psalms chapter 64, verse 1. Read it out. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. 
Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. So he said, preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Our enemy, we know who our enemy is. We're going to have war with them from generation to generation. It's Amalek. I'm not going to take this from you, but I just... No, no, bring it out. I just, That's I just, it. No, no, bring no. it Go ahead. Because we're at war with these people. And it says, read it again. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. The scriptures say preserve my life. These people is actually trying to kill us. Mm -hmm. Okay, if we can't get you over here, and we had brought this up last week, we can't get you in the wash, we're going to get you over here in the rain. Bring it up. If we don't get you with pornography, we're going to get you with something else, then you're going to masturbate yourself to death. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So they, they, Okay, we can't get the, the, the father, let's get the son. Right. You understand Dang what I'm saying? It's, 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 they got Dang. levels to this thing. These people is the devil. Keep reading. Hide me from the secret council of the wicked. So what was what was what were they doing down there in, the bay, in that in that tunnel? <laughs> secret council. That was a right, secret right, council. Right. Hide me. I mean, I don't want to be discussed in these secret councils that's going on. They discussing how to kill me. They trying to take my life. They trying to take my nation's life. Keep reading. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. We know who the workers of iniquity are. They lay on their bed and think about it. In the morning, they get up so they can practice that bull. That, bring it out. Bring it out. Bring bring it out. But hey. I'll break. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll can you go to Daniel 12? Bring it out, bro. <laughs> because it's a, it's a, it's, oh, man. I'll bring it tomorrow. I read Daniel 12 and 4. This touch on the point that, that both of you all made and the scripture that you brought out earlier, y'all. Read that. Daniel chapter 12, verse 4. The book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 4. Bring it out. But thou, O Daniel, set up the words and seal the book even to, even to the times of the end. So, the Lord told Daniel to shut up this book. Send it to the times of the end. Read. Many shall run to and fro. Uh -huh. and, it, and knowledge shall be increased. But what shall be increased? Knowledge shall be increased. Who did you just say was increasing the knowledge on that video? Mm. So who would be here in the last days running the show? Mm. Amalek. 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 From generation to generation. The knowledge? Sewer rats. Right. The, the sewer rats. Uh, skip, up, skip up to verse uh, 9. Verse 9. And he said, go thy way, Daniel. Well, the words are closed up, are, are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. The time of the end is what we in now. The Lord is revealing these things to us, That's right? right. That's right. Many shall be purified and made white uh -huh. and tried, but the wicked shall do wicked. You see that? With this technology, it says some going to know how to use it, basically. And, and it says the wicked, they're going to do wickedly with this technology mm. that the devil Amalek is putting out. Mm. It's like they're going to be wiser than Daniel, ain't it? Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yes. Freedom. And none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. It says the wise shall understand. And those that are wise with God's word that's mm. been unlocked in these last days, they're going to know how to take social media and they, they're going to know how to use it. But those that <clears> going to do wickedly like Amalek, they're going to keep on doing it. They're going to keep increasing that knowledge. But guess what? The wise, they're going to know how to use it because they're going to come back with the scriptures. The scriptures are now open to us because this is the only way we can fight. The scriptures say we're going right. to have a war with Amalek from generation to generation. That's right. That's right. Guess what? Jehovah Nisha. Our special weapon has been unlocked for Amalek. That's right. Jehovah Nisha. Right. 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 Jehovah Nisha. That's it. Yeah, it's going down. That's, that's unlocked. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> right. Oh, so uh, know the antidote you better be taking. Right. This right. your antibiotic. Hey, I'm a Pfizer. This is what you better be getting shot of. Coach. Hey, man, it's a cure, bro. It's right. a cure. Oh, hey, go back. I want you to read that. Yeah. Uh, I want you to read this uh, back in Psalm 64, uh, verse 2. It said, hide me from the secret council. I'll pray to the Most High. You in the spirit. Psalms chapter 64, verse 2. Bring it out. Hide me from the secret council of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. The workers of iniquity. Go to Micah chapter 2 and verse 1. Michael 2 and 1. All pray to the Most High. The workers of iniquity. Read that. The book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 1. Bring it out. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their bed. They work evil upon their bed. Read. When the, when the morning is light, they practice it. They practice. They get up and put that They put that to work. Right. Oh, I know how we can get them now. Go ahead. What you got? You know they had matches in them holes. They, they were laying on their beds. They were sleeping that job. They were sleeping that job. Right. How do we get them? Oh, uh, I think I got <laughs> they it. They pop up out the hole. Like, like, right. <laughs> right. Damn. Right. Keep reading. Keep reading. It said, it said that last part. It said, and the, uh, when the morning is light, what? They practice it. Read. Because it is in the power of their hand. We read earlier that the earth, the earth is is given into the hand of the wicked. That's right. They got the power to do that. They got the power right. to actually put policies, laws in place in this world. Keep reading. 
And they covet fields. They do what? Covet fields. They covet fields. I've been riding with some Edomites one time. We need that over there. We need that over there. They covet fields to what? And take them by violence. And take them by what? Violence. That's, that's what happened to our... The, the uh, Native American Indians, our forefathers, uh, the tribe of Gad, tribe of Reuben, they was taken out of the way by violence. Keep reading. And houses. And houses. And take them away. Uh-huh. So they oppress a man in Th his house. This is what she was bringing out. They oppress a man in his house. So you, what they'll do is, okay, shoot that phone to your child so he can do, do things with it. That's oppression to you. They oppress a man in his house of what? Even a man and his heritage. Even yeah. his heritage, his seed. Mm -hmm. He's oppressed. He come out the womb eight years old. He's oppressed. He watching he, eight years old. He watching porn that's already. That's what I'm saying. He, we just he yeah. They wow. oppress a man and his heritage. So 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 it ain't just you and your family in your house. You got, you Esau got, in too. Yeah. 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 You think he ain't war? Yeah. He at war. The most I say he gonna have war with this dude from general. You think he fighting back? He fighting back. Right. The yeah. best way you know how. But like you said, the most I don't unlock this secret weapon that right. we got. Yeah, they That's Syria. right. Right. I want. I want to be able to hear it again. To be able to hear. I want to hear it again. But that takes Judith to a whole nother level. When it say uh. If there be found any yes, right. error. Error, in this error, error in this people, right, right, we, they take that to a whole nother level. So if they got, we got a device in our houses, in our possession, that they using against us, destroying us. destroying us. If we don't use this for righteousness, right, we done, we done. Hey, pull up that article that I, that I had had earlier. We're gonna read all the way to Hey, you. man, we never did feel the scripture, bro. We oh, got let's finish it. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, that's Psalm 64 heavy, man. Yeah, go ahead. No, you, was on, you was on verse three. three. You was on verse three. Oh, I thought you'd bring it out. No, no, no. I did verse one and two. I did one and two. You had three. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I think I had three. You had four. Give yeah, me three. I just had four. Give me, let me read, read, read verse three real fast. Psalms chapter 64, verse three. Uh -huh. Read it out. Who wet their tongue like a sword. Uh huh. And bend their bows to shoot their arrows. They bend their bows to do what? Shoot, shoot their arrows. arrows. What's being shot at this officer lab? They shooting porn. <laughs> they shooting uh, lasciviousness. They shooting movies at you. They shoot anything to corrupt your mind when you think it's your own thought. They shooting at you in a very subtle way. It says, then it says, they shoot their arrows, even bitter words. So they are, they gonna be talking negative about the Israelites. That's all right. the time. They gonna be always man. I'll, go ahead, officer. That's go it. ahead. They, and they, and they, a lot of times too, they put a, uh, just just got me thinking about them bitter words. A lot of times, them bitter words come from our own people. We right. saw bitter words from old boy. He's he's been given a platform. You understand to say what he got to say about the Bible, written not written to us, it's written for us. These uh new age philosophers and Apologetic. stuff like that, apologetics, uh, all this mystical wisdom from other people, they have a platform now. A lot of times, that's our people that's shooting that, that they're using or allowing to come in through the internet to just to do what? Read verse four. Verse four. Read it out. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Get for, uh, First Kings 8 and 61 right quick. Show what makes us perfect. Why is it shooting in secret at the perfect? And we'll jump back and finish this and I'm out the way. Hey, some of those bitter words are, are hey, it's okay what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. It, it, it's okay. You you got you got you got the internet, you know, uh uh you know, do as thou wilt. Well, I'm telling you what those bitter words were. What when they pull up that thing that it was gang bang what? Gang bang revenge. Dang. Yeah, Dang. that's bitter words. Dang. That's bitter words for your for your right. your seed your your heritage to see. That's bitter. Read that First Kings eight sixty one about the perfect. The book of First Kings chapter eight verse sixty one. Bring it out. Let your heart therefore be perfect. Be perfect. With the Lord our God. Let your mind be perfect with the Lord our God. Come on. To walk in his statutes. To do what? To walk in his statutes. Walk in his statutes. And to keep his commandments as at this day. So what makes one perfect? Keeping the commandments of God. That's right. So yeah. jump back to Psalm 64 in, in uh, 4 now. Psalm chapter 64 verse 4. Uh-huh. Bring it out. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. This is showing you who this is designed for. They can use it for whatever they want. But the main thing is so they can shoot at in secret at the perfect. Those that are striving to keep the commandments of God. That's, That's why when you right. see the, the picture of the leadership, the bishops, the deacons, the captains, all those men in the street, the very next thing you might see is they shoot like you was, you was talking about earlier. They shooting porn in there. They right. shooting mm -hmm. uh, evil rap music in there. They shooting cardio. 
Cardi B off in there. They shooting all, all wicked evil doctors in there. Matter of fact, you watch an Israelite video, the next thing right. come on after the IUIC video is something about uh, go to some Israel, Israel school in Israel about right. this I was just or thinking that. Christian uh-huh. doctrine. What, they, what they doing? Russian Jews. If Read it again from the top. Shoes. That they may shoot in secret at the purpose. That's what they doing. They are shooting in secret at those of us that's trying to keep the commandments of God. Right. Read. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They say suddenly they shoot at him and fear not. This war. That's what bitch ain't what they what bitch said. This is war. Right. That's right. right. That's right. This war. All crazy. And then uh, you know what's crazy? You know we watched that video. You know, verse two is actually being played out. It said, "Hide me from the secret council." So the only way we got the information from that video, and Edom might have to sneak in a camera to the secret councils they were having, mm-hmm. complotting against us. Mm-hmm. So if it wasn't for that Edom might having that secret ca- ca- that secret camera, we never would have known the evil that they were doing to our people. All praise. Right, Re- right. Read verse eight. Read verse eight. Did I let you get it? Out, bro? <laughs> we gonna get off this. Read verse eight. Bring it up. So what you said in verse eight? Read that. T. Verse eight. Bring it up. So they shall make their own tongue. To fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. So I'll pray to the most high. You're right, Officer Yeah, They're making their own tongue to fall I'll upon themselves. The Beautiful. That's how we find out about them sewer rats. That's right. That's right. right. The internet is a dangerous place. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. The danger of the internet. Hey, listen. Officer Brook. Sorry, brother. Come on with it, man. Hey. We finna. We gonna read <laughs> the tongue falling upon them. Right. Read that again. Read it all the way to the bottom. Everything that y'all just talked about in them scriptures, we finna. Sh- Read what? This they tongue falling up on them. If the first wars were fought with sticks and stones, modern warfare is a high-tech battlefield where social media has emerged as a surprising and effective weapon. So right here, it's, they tongue falling them because they letting us know this is a weapon. This is not for your entertainment. This is not for your well-being or your uh, growth. This is a weapon to attack us, Read. From Russia hacking to influence the American election to online recruitment for terror groups such as ISIS. An array of players are use, are using false news and bogus accounts to stoke fear, entice violence, and manipulate outcomes. So right there, they say hacking it to influence the American election. They, so they tell you what they did and to online recruitment, a terror group such as ISIS, some more what they did. And then they telling you an array of players mm-hmm. that y'all just talked about a second ago. Amalek is the array of players. The 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 dude, whatever his damn name was, who hate Israel, he's one of the players. All them apologetics, them urban apologetics, those are part of those array of players. Right. Sexy Red, Cardi B, mm-hmm. all them. Right. And then they do it what? You stoke fake news and bogus accounts to stoke fear to make what? Be scared of Israelites. They right. dangerous. Mm. They they dangerous. And incite violence. King Vaughn is, is the man. Right. Be out. like King Vaughn. He killed up every damn body. But yet what? He a millionaire. He a hero. You better not go to hero. Chicago and say nothing Bruh, bad about it. We, exactly. we, we was there. You there. <laughs> they got a big mural of this dude, yeah. man. And, and him up a dude who, so, who did something to that mural. And check and, and, no, we was out there teaching. Check this out. We was out there teaching on the street right across from the projects. Mm-hmm. What's the name of the project? Old Block. Old, Old Block. Block. Okay. Uh-uh. So one of the captains out there teaching, and he mentioned Vaughn. And basically the dude was like, hey, man, don't put your mouth on Vaughn, man. You know, like getting upset yeah. by him mentioning this man's name and, and, and wanted some explanation of what he had done for the neighborhood. That man was really upset about that. So yeah, yeah, all praises, man. Listen, man. Listen, I think, I think, we all think we're gonna have to do episode three, man. We're gonna do episode three, bro. I'm telling you, just too much information, yeah, man. The saga continues. Yeah, the saga. And, and you got to throw Amalek in that thing too, man. Right, it, 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 what it is? Yeah, they, this is this is this is them shooting at us in the secret, bro. And now. The most high done revealed our weapon is coming back and keeping God's laws, right. statutes, and commandments. But I uh, read Ephesians 6 and 10 real fast, man. We ain't going to be long. We're going to get up out of here. Ephesians 6 and 10. Man, we got just so much information out here, man. Read that, bro. The book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 10. Uh-huh. Finally, my brothers, uh-huh. be strong in the Lord. In the, in the Lord. And in the power of his might. His what? His might. His what? His might. His what? His might. But anyway, keep reading. Keep reading. Verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God. Uh Uh-huh. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So the scriptures say we got to put on the whole armor of God that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Now go to um, Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. Read that. 
Revelation 2 and 9. So we got to put on the whole armor of God. So we got to be really suited and booted for this truth. We got to be That's really right. set for the battle. We got to understand what the condition of the battle is. Keep reading. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. Uh -huh. I know thy works uh -huh. and tribulation uh -huh. and poverty, uh -huh. but thou art rich. So we the rich, we the rich, we in poverty, but we really rich. Keep reading. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. The Bible says he know the blasphemy, the lies, the blatant lies of them which say they are Jews. Keep reading. And are not. But they're not the Jews. But what are they? But are the synagogue of Satan. That's what you see popping up out that wormhole, out that rat hole, <laughs> the synagogue of Satan. The Keep reading. devil. Keep reading. Fear none of those things uh -huh. which thou shalt suffer. Uh-huh, because we're going to suffer. He said, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, because we're going to put on the whole armor of God that we may be able to withstand uh, the wiles of the devil. Keep reading. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. That's some of his wiles, is to cast some of us in prison, take us out of our families, to um shoot at us secretly, to shoot at our children. Those are some of the things that we may have to suffer in this truth. But we got to put on the whole arm of God. Go back to Ephesians 6. Read that, bro. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. Verse 11. Put on the whole arm of God uh -huh. that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Uh huh. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So we wrestling not against this flesh and blood, but what, what is it? But against principalities. Against principalities. Principalities. Keep reading. Against powers. Against powers. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Who the rulers of the darkness of this world? Amalek. 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 Keep reading. Against That's spiritual right. wickedness in high places. That's the spiritual wickedness in high places right there. They're the hated ones in control of the earth. We read in Job 9, 24. The earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. That's Keep right. reading. Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God, uh -huh. that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. So it mentions your loins. What area of your body is your loins in? Your private parts. That's private right. parts. So it tells us to have our loins girt about with truth. What's the truth? These laws, statutes, and commandments, like you that's brought up right. earlier, uh, Colossians three and five, about mortify your members, because that's the way they're shooting at us. Yes, sir. This is a sex crazed world we living in, and it's all filtered in through our houses through the internet. That's right. It's an evil world we live in. Keep reading. And having on the breastplate of righteousness, uh huh. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. So we always gotta be ready to go out and teach this truth. That's right. Keep reading. Above all, taking the shield of faith, uh huh. Where well, you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take that helmet of salvation. So we able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. We gotta take that faith because we understand that uh Revelation 13, 9, 10 coming true. That's that I believe that. Mm -hmm. I believe that the most high That's gonna put right. these people under our subjection. That's right. right. Yeah. I believe yes, Isaiah sir. 14. Yes, sir. That's the faith that I got. Christ, yeah, he's gonna come and redeem us out That's of this captivity. Right. Keep reading. And take the helmet of salvation. And the sword of the spirit, uh -huh. which is the word of God. So that's our Bible. That's the sword of the spirit. That's the word of God. Keep reading. Praying always with all prayer. This is one thing that we need to add to our arsenal that a lot of times we don't do. Read that. Praying always with all prayer and supplication. We got to always pray. That's what we, uh, uh, was told to us in Luke chapter 18. We got to pray for the destruction of this place. Keep reading. Right. In the spirit and watching thereunto with all perversion. Perseverance and supplication. Perseverance, Perseverance and, supplication. and supplication. So the same thing Christ said, watch and pray. That's right. We got to watch That's and pray. That's right. So all pray to the most high. That's all I got, man. That's all I got. Y'all got anything else before we get out of here? No, sir. All praise to the most high. Can we pull up our credentials, man? Listen, this has been another episode of Cure the Culture. Culture. Listen, man. Let's pull up those credentials, bro. Read that, man. Want to send donations. Send donations. To Israel United in Christ, P.O. Box 13601, Jackson, Mississippi, 39236. Or via PayPal, IUIC, Jackson MS at Israel United. Israelunite.org. IUIC dot Jackson and Miss, by the way. It's a dot between IUIC and Jackson. Don't forget that. Your brother can't see that. You got to start putting up on the other TV. Hey, man, say Jackson, Mississippi one time. Say Jackson, Mississippi one time, bro. 
Jackson, Mississippi. I don't pray to the most high God. <laughs> That's one more. That's my brother, yeah. bro, bro, Jackson, Mississippi. <laughs> My brother, but I'll pray to the most. I listen, man. Uh, we appreciate your support. Um, Lord's will, we'll be back next week to um, bring another fire show to you. Um, all you brothers and sisters out there watching the show, listen, we're going to give a shout out to our um, shout out to the tech team. Yes, sir. Who we got down there? That's awesome. Malachi down That's there, Officer Lisha, Officer Baru, Officer Simeon down there. So, right. And so, the Matthew and the tech booth jumping, it's full of folks. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pray to the most. I got. Oh, shout out to security, man. Uh, I think I think brother's kitchen crew came in and fixed us some food or whatever. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, we just had a little event. Uh, what was the name of the event? Yes, sir. We had the uh, 12 Tribes Fair. 12 yeah. Tribes Fair. All praise to the most high. In case you don't know nothing about that, hey, stay tuned. So all praise. All right. I'm Officer Obadiah. To my right, I got. Officer Lavi. To my left. Officer Baru. To my far right. Officer Zacchaeus. To my far left. Officer Zarai. To my far right. Officer Hosanna. To my far left. Officer Yuhukana. Hey man, listen, we the crew of Cure the Culture. Strong, what's on our face?